but that's the thing about what about what we're doing as a community is like i mean for me it's, i i most of the ideas i get that i use is from other people right i mean that is that is not that's somebody else's me idea of me doing this it's not even my idea of doing that you know and so i take on board whatever someone's saying and like and the other thing i was saying like that's jared's idea hannah's idea was that we do a comic book this year right get kids to draw their own comic book so you know kids comics you know that's um basically our kids comics is the so are you going be... to compile them and present them yeah that's um, cool. so is it going to like one or two page drops it's a bit of a push for kids to do a whole comic, I think, probably. Yeah, no, no, no. It's basically one or two page scripts, and they get to basic. Um, they get to draw. We get six panels, right? We give them six panels on a page, and say, "Put your name up here, and whatever you know, and then draw whatever you want and tell your story." You can team up with a friend, right? Oh. Or do it by yourself. Uh, and it's got to be black and white, no colors, because it's at, the, at this thing. point. <laughs> yeah, color they could always color them in afterwards anyway. <laughs> yeah, they could always color them in afterwards, and that's the other thing, right? So it's like you're color there's, there's some beauty there. Oh. There is some cool thing there. So, so the other thing is, so that then we then I spend my time probably going to take me two three weeks to put it together, compile it all together. In that, while I'm doing that, Shane is going to do a cover for it. Oh, cool! A special cover for it, and then with the kids' characters. I don't know what he's gonna do. I if have no idea. What characters, he gotta sneak in the kids' characters. Imagine how yeah, special you'd does, feel if you were a kid and you yeah, put your comic in there and it was in this book. Yeah, you'd feel pretty, pretty special. Cool. There you go, another good idea. So we're the ideas people. So, or you're the ideas people. I'm just a person who tells somebody else to do something else, right? Well, it's really nice initiative. So, I mean, I've always said you're a good businessman because, yeah. like, you do, like, you see things through, which is cool. You, right. you, you, an idea is one thing, like you said, but making yeah. it happen is another, which is why right. I can sympathize with some of these creatives because it's yeah. hard to make things happen. <laughs> and you do yeah. that generally, which is good. I think the most of the time is to be open to people's advice on that. And I think a lot of people, are, and this is what I find really hard about anal retentive artists mm. and creative people. And I've dealt with them when I was coming up, as uh, when I was learning art, right? I mean, not learning art. I've never learned art. I've always been able to do it. You either do no have it or you don't have it. As a creative person, you can learn design, right? You can learn design, mm. which I've learned. But you, I've always been an um, artist and, and good at it before even I went to any art thing. So, what I found really w horrible when I was go uh, when I was a, you know coming up in the art school thing, right, was watching someone kick a piece of food that I had made, and then turn around to me and say, "I'm saying why are you kicking my food?" So, oh, I'm just creating art. And I'm like, "No, you're not. You cook, you're kicking my food." I'm like, "You have nothing." To offer to anybody around me. Thank you very much. You're not creative. You're not actually develop, doing anything productive. You're just wasting something. And I thought that was pretty. You know, that was a designer in my head. That was a guy. Not in the sense of like, not designer. Designers are pretty cool people. We're very smart as well. A hack, right? Someone is trying to hack at. He kicked your food. Yeah, he picked up a piece of sausage roll at a party that at my place because we were all artists were there, and he just turned around. He's a year ahead of me, right, or oh. two years ahead of me, and I'm like, "Is a twat? Yeah, <laughs> is this is this what an artist is? Well, I don't want to be an artist. You just so, needed to like yeah. stab him or something, and then string him up a tree in an interesting pose, and then you show him some. Well, out. I could have just turned right to one of my big mates <laughs> and said, "Hey, look, he just wasted our kicked our food off the balcony, mate." One sort oh, of. I, I know the type now that you mention it. I yeah, mean, you're right. It sounds like the kind of person that might land an advertising job and be a smuck, but uh... <laughs> yeah, and be yeah, do that. Yeah, unfortunately, think, and I think that's a cool thing about what where we're going with this is saying to kids, right, with the kids' comics is you you want you like drawing, right? Yeah. We're doing comics, right? Maybe in ten years, keep working on this. You know, whatever doodle you're doing, maybe in ten years, 
you probably come and tell us <laughs> you know you've got a character that you've got a great story around and then oh maybe five years hell uh, you know you might even come back tomorrow and say look at my work and you know can you do something with this and i'll be like i will try but here's where we start we go well put on a piece you know draw something out well, six kind of as, as, as an artist or creative person's fantasy anyway like i like yeah. comic books i want to see your comic book printed even yeah. if it's a page is special especially if you're young right so it's, it's real cool yeah well i mean you can, 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 can an adult sneak off. into the competition well it's 18. oh what about 40 yeah. year olds high, high school. <laughs> well if you want, you could try to, you know, if you if you want to do a page to add, I'll if just I have come to up with make my thing, art more scribbly, and then yeah. you won't be able to tell, and well, I get little I'll kids to bring it over. <laughs> Talking of which, I've I've actually done one of my for that. I'll show you this one here. This is done about twenty years ago, on purpose. Is that Jacinda? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this is the art. I think. I'm on two, but this is one of them. This is especially done in a, um, the way it says today, uh, a child with a cigarette, tomorrow, a soldier with a gun. Do you think, looking at the picture now, that cigarette's placement isn't the best? How it's in line with where the guy's wiener is? <laughs> you had to go there. We're talking about kids here, <laughs> I was just seeing it. Sorry. You've got to right think now. of your composition, my friend. No, this is it's just it's a, just a it was. metaphor. So, in there. so I purposely did it like it was a kid's drawing on purpose. I went out of my way because the theme was kids, right? So I had to go out and like come back, go backwards in my art style. And um, I like the writing there, though. What's the writing? Is that? Oh uh, yeah, it's. it's uh, I think it's Cantonese. Uh, I remember I talked to a. Um, I was on a film. Sorry, film. I was on a flight back from Fiji or to Fiji. I think, and I was talking to, um, and I can't remember where she was from. I think she might have been Korean in front of me, and I was just talking to her about stuff. I said, hey, look, can you write down this in Cantonese? Or it might be Mandarin. I can't, I can't tell them apart because I. And then you copied it and right. transcripted it there? Yep. She That's cool. Good wrote effort. it down on pencil, and then I went and, yeah, then I went and wrote it on this. So this is, yeah, what's one of my oldest, yeah, 20 year old paintings that I have that did. And it's um, it's it's a uh, um, paint and um, what else? It's paint, pencil, and pen. It's silver pen. Remember back, mm -hmm. it was, silver pens were very very the cool thing twenty years ago. I know kids still use it now, but it was that it thing pens are still cool. I know I've got a few, but I'm just mean like they're paint pens, like they were really the end thing. So, but I mean, I have done proper oil paintings and stuff that i don't even own anymore um they're big big huge ones like i've done like they're in mules. a gallery somewhere i have no idea one day when i'm dead people will probably gather all around and have my work <laughs> on the exhibition we'll celebrate it all toast it yeah the old dead man's crack open uh, the good stuff gallery yeah gallery opening <laughs> you know showcase <laughs> my work but you're right look i understand the thing about sometimes uh, you know um talking back about patreon and stuff how you know supporting artists i mean i've got artwork that i haven't finished yet that's sitting there and has been sitting there for about five ten years or uh, five years i should say and there's other stuff that i'm waiting to finish but i'm not going to be i'll put up saying this is what's happening but you know it'd be nice to have a patreon of my work <laughs> wouldn't that be cool i'm but getting like thousand, yeah but that's the only way yeah, with, the only way of doing that is to put yourself out there and try and convince yeah. people to back you. It's, yeah, that's exactly that. the that. people that you're complaining about. Yeah, yeah, I think here's, I here's my recent art. Look, <laughs> I'm making a game on um, G Develop is that, called is Dog that, Bowl. Uh, is that the, uh, are you doing like the pixel thing? I'm doing a, a weak game jam, and so I had a theme of Got No Time, so I thought Dog Bowl, like dogs playing dodgeball. And my brothers helped me out with that ass a little what bit. Where are we? What is that called? Um, pixel art. Pixel art. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you bring it closer? Because I, I know that. Yeah, when I you look a at screen it, share. Oh, it's it's not. Either there. The, the huns. Nice. Did you um copyright that? 
no, but it doesn't exist. So I mean, like technically, no, I'm the first really to do it. But I mean, like you know, when you're a creative well, person, good. like you can't own everything you make. Like you just have to put it out there and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, it gets to a point where people rip you off, and I've been ripped I off. I spent five hours going. trying to figure out how to make it select a random iteration because I made it spawn these characters, and, and you meant I'll to pre-plan their movements. Or copyright it. And, oh, hey, well, about, game jams are just about sharing right? creativity, though. Like, that is you don't, true. Hmm. And that happens a lot on um, on game sites. Right. So well, it's a I'll lot of fun, though. But, I mean, the biggest asset you get from it is doing it and learning. Right. Like, that's the biggest gift. Like, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. If someone ripped me off and, like, was successful with it, I mean, yeah, it would irk you a little, you, but... Yeah, but... Okay. If you are already okay financially, then that's okay. If you feel, you know, if you feel that way. But, but then, but I, say, do, do like, you agree that creative who... people don't do it for that, though? Creative people do it because they need to create or they where... want to create or they enjoy but creating? But that's where that horrible thing of poor artists comes from. Because yeah, of but that. then that's when they need the Patreon side, isn't it? <laughs> that is true. And I think I should find me a patron. I wonder if there's any patrons in Whangarei or New Zealand that would be just like, here's, here's this much everything, and, you know, because all this shit we are doing. Oh, I guess you yeah. kind of do that with Creative Northland. Like, they're your patrons. Well, well they're patrons of the community, really, to be honest. They're, no, uh, but they're a patron of you. That by choosing true. to yeah. support you so you have got yeah, one there you go yeah, I, um, I hope i, I hope you deliver <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> when's I, I your game be... coming out that you're working on by the way oh I, i've given it three years holy sh really yeah. i'm gonna write the story out uh, before is I this it. guy's is this the guy's first project oh, not, mine, of, not, mine, not mine not mine no no the other guy I though is it oh, no, is it out. his first what it's no it's a it's up to chapter five or six seven or something like that so he's been doing it for ages and you've just joined yeah, in? Almost about under a year. He's been doing it under a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you reckon I three years. Um, Is it just really long? No, you release a chapter each time. So, you know, a month and or every two, three months, depending on how much work goes into it. So other people release theirs like every two weeks. Some release it every week, depending on how much oh. context. I haven't seen it. I just was thinking game, and I was like, oh, you yeah, know, like this is a whole product. Itch.io. Uh, itch that's I, where you yeah, can get I'm, it. Yeah, I'm on like, there. That's where, my, that's where I game jam. Yeah, so um, I'll put it up there just for other people um, to check out later or now or whatever. But itch.io is the website where you can basically, um, I think it's dollar per dollar. So you pay, the artist gets a, a developer gets a dollar. Uh, thing gets a dollar or whatever you and want who's to Who's the pay creator of this one you're working on? I have no idea. But you're teaming up with him? Yeah, I just know his handle. Oh, yeah, what's his handle? Is. I can't tell you. Why? Because I'm not telling anyone. Well, I could look at it then. I don't want you to look at it then. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said. This is like, when I come out and create my own game, but, It'll have my name on it. Malfunction will be on my game, right? Or Aru Singh will be on my game. And and the reason I'm doing all this hard work in game development and learning and co-writing, editing with this guy, is because I want to be able to make an incredible game one day. Or doable. Or a red dot game for Shane. One day. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is the reason, here's me at 48 years old, half my life probably, you know, over, but learning new skills. As I say, there's no, you know, too old to learn something new. And at 48, and I've just changed, turned 48 on May 1st, I'm learning it because I know that, you know, I would like to see uh, these uh, visual novels versions of our characters. I would like to see a friggin you know figurine of sorry to use this one but a figurine of you know of incredible which 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 mind you a friend is working on doing the 3d image of it right now okay and hopefully you know hopefully you know it'll be done in time to be doing it at plunge oh sorry this oh. was um i should put that website there yeah so i've given it a date that uh, at least 
that time so I can give it to the library to print out. And so we're going to print it, you know, if it's done in time, we'll print out a whole bunch of these and we'll give some kid one of these, right? For, you know, as a prizes for the coloring thing. So we, nice. you know, the whole thing is to develop a, a community of creative people to actually be able to take them into where they can set up their own business, where we can say, can you do this? We come back, we get, give them money for that work, and then we get produced, and then we make money. We sell our merchandise and so on, right? Like we've done with, we've done with Colders, we're gonna pay you put this for us. All right, cool, we should thing, and then we go and sell it. And, and this is the way we keep our community working because we're actually coming into our community hand in hand, back and forth, a relationship where we're actually helping, you know, helping do things what they call in-house, right? In our community mm. and our community gets a benefit. We get the benefit from it and we develop new creators. We develop um, more people to be able to be independently uh, prosperous, right? By doing what they love. And I think that's that's why I want to learn gaming, why I want to learn gaming, because then I can reach out to someone at Engine Room and say, hey, how many students you got that are interested in doing something like making, taking my story, and turning it in a freaking game, right? Neat. Like, and we're set. And then we go, okay. So here's my script. Who's the coder? And next thing you know, you've got a whole freaking studio because I was able to go. Can you do this for us, right? Can you start this one chapter? Here's a story and show us how we're going to do this. And I think this is. There is no reason. Like we talked to this earlier on about how Dunedin's popping up, they got all this freaking money there. It's like, well, why can't that sort of money come into our community to help us be more productive that way? And I think, I think know, it can. It can, of course, it can. But I mean, it, the problem is that, you know, like they say, you know, it's like, what comes out of Jerusalem? You know, that's sort of, you know, like when they're talking about Jesus, what, what, what. What good comes out, you know? What? Yeah, you need your big, your big uh, winners in the scene to yeah. land market. Because yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we all can apply for the same grants that Dunedin can apply for. Yeah, I'm, I'm I pretty think, certain we could. And I think we, you know, next year, I want to be able to start working on the incredible game and say, hey, you know, let's get that going. And then not only that, right? I want to be able to actually grow an animation studio in Fungare as well have that developing as well and i want to have a a comic book and animation i mean we started the comic book studio ourselves but we want to have a uh, animation studio and a gaming studio developing and happening in the next 10 years in front of right because what's yes. going to happen is you've got kids here at 10 12 years old who are playing you know minecraft and whatever else what are they going to do when they come out of school in eight years or whatever and we don't have anything for them when they've learned all these skills at stuff at school, and so they leave, and then the brain, then the then the government will complain about brain drain. Then the communities will say they're just leaving us. Look at all this talent we've we've invested in, but we're giving sending them overseas, which they did right about twenty years ago, or ten years ago, or something like that, fifteen years ago, because they don't they didn't think that IT was a thing for New Zealand, and so we lost ten thousand people to. Over to foreign countries because we can provide them with jobs because we were so close minded 15 years ago about IT in New Zealand and game development and CGI and filmmaking, despite the fact that Weta was up and coming hard out, you know. And it's just, you know, it's Weta, I think it was Weta that basically made people turn their head around in New Zealand and say, wait, this has all been done in New Zealand? It's like, yeah, because they're doing it on their own you guys would just you know wouldn't help out and i think that's where the community funding is uh, is a bit uh, you know what it is i think if we can get more you know you know more people with, uh, with visions of say the next 10 years like you know think 10 years not think tomorrow or day after but actually 10 year what's going to happen to our kids in eight years from now, 10 years from now, then they'll start 
weighing up the options how much money should we invest now you know and that's where my brain is like well i'm thinking well these kids when we do our when we try to do our kids you know a kids comic thing right and this wasn't my idea by the way it was anna's idea about the kids comic thing or it was more about like uh kids do a you know draw a comic book but it was somebody else's idea trisha's idea that we put it into a comic book uh, rather than just painting and coloring stuff so i took you know we took that and i started saying yeah well why not why not why not let's do it then and then now the thing is like well why don't we do it every year right my thing now is like okay once we do this now what well, isn't some aren't the kids going to come back are you doing it again i'm going to go or i'm going to go yeah no we're going to do it we're going to do it yeah so i'm um you know i think that's the thing it's like basically making sure because here's the thing like kids as they say are resilient but the kids also need to see things happening on a regular basis you know to see something is going to happen you know it's, that's why birthday so like if you're going to say well i'm going to be there at your birthday and you don't show up you know kids are going to feel a bit bummed out over it so can i add that to the stream yeah you should i just pulled it up because uh this is a game i made on g develop that's on the um gmtk game makers toolkit game jam at the moment and it's up for yeah. voting um I did it DC filmed. It's like a jumble game. Um, let's so see. this is um, RTV. I see. I I, I ever advertised NZ CC. Uh, early is this early game development? I made it in a forty-eight hour game jam, uh, just to show the kids that we can do it. Hour game jam. So what you do is you match three kids, like um, three characters, or items from a particular genre like green lantern or yeah. batman and it resets the screen so if we go through this is all that and so what i'm doing it as is like an educational kind of learning game and so if you mm -hmm. click on black lightning it ticks the hero there um green uh, black lightning symbol and then you find one of his villains hidden in here somewhere mm -hmm. and so i've made it so it's perfect set so everyone's got their proper villains in there to whale and okay then, so is this like a snap thing no, this is, is um, I made it on G development. No, 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 no. Is it like, um, is it like, like you got to flip them over and show some same thing? Yeah, so you, you match a hero, a villain, and an extra, so a symbol. So oh, I, I did, see. Um, I see what you oh, mean. I say John Stewart, Green Lantern symbol, and then we've got um, Despero there. You got oh, right. so if I go, so Hold on, hold on. So if I go Superman, Lois Clark, and so I got Dark Seed. Or Lex Luthor. Would Lex it Luthor, work? yeah. Yep. So if they're there, so there's Bane up there. So if we slap Bane really? on, he's obviously with Batman. And so I made hundreds hey, um, of different cards for this. Can you, would you be able to bring this to Plunge? Yeah. Well, it I mean, it's, it's, on, it's on it. It's on it. It's It's there. Um, no, it's no, just but I mean, being... like, can we have it to show kids at Plunge? Like, they can play there, this thing. Yeah. It works cool. on tablets and everything. It works on cell phones. Um, I haven't formatted right. it for it, so can in you, game development, the, okay. the layout. So mm -hmm. can you, um, what is it called? Can you send me a uh, a, a screenshot or thing of it so I can put, make a poster up and I can put a link to it I'll on the poster? I'll, I'll, send you, I'll send you the link and you can check it out. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Do that for me, and then what I'll do is I'll when I'll go when the kids, you know, I'll, because I'm I'm doing the whole engine room thing, right? With the like game development this year, so this could be a game that kids could play on their own. They could figure out, and this is really cool. I think it's for a young kids thing, or even you know, young adult. Well, you, you know, have to know for, for this one, you have to know your comics. So right. it's the the general knowledge of. Do you, I could yeah. make a Pokemon theme one if I want to right i so, i don't know pokemon super good though but um someone could <laughs> well you could do a marvel one yeah well, i really wanted to do marvel i just kind of started somewhere and then mm -hmm. see if we click the reset board one so your scores ca counting up you get a whole different set so you got green arrow on there instead yeah um catwoman if we refresh again we've got different ones star yeah. labs with the flash yeah oh okay. so that's that's my game that i made 
That um, is cool, man. That's it's, really yeah, cool. it's pretty solid. Um, I accidentally broke it, so word of so wise for game developers. I was polishing it up for the 40 hour game jam, and that bit where it refreshed as the screen was working perfectly, and I thought, shit, I'm sorry. I need to yeah. put in some instructions in the title screen. So I made that in the last minute. And then when I was doing that, I was tidying up the scene names. Yeah. And then by tidying up the scene names, I changed the name of the main game scene. And because the refresh is the game scene, I broke the refresh. So the game works once on the site yeah. at the moment. I could, I when I realized, I messaged them, but it's five thousand eight hundred people entered the game jam, and mine might get disqualified because it's got the DC theme in it. But like you know, educational. I don't really. I learned lots doing it, but yeah. I fixed that my problem well, free, in right? two minutes. I mean, it's free. So I mean, it's it's free to download off off there and all that. You just play it. it online. Oh, okay, so you could basically put in the lo uh, link and you're done. And it gets you to it. This yeah, is cool. Just, I mean, you, it's like it's one of your edge games. It's there. So as a puzzle, I call it jumble with the with the three on the oh, end because you make sets of three. That's it's really cool. And I think it's uh, I think kids would be into it, and I think it's a good way for kids to learn into you know. I mean, it's kind of reminds me of Snap. You know, or match, match. It is, it, it's based on a memory game, but I changed the rules the and the way it played. Yeah. So I edited the whole thing to make it play different. Yeah. Um, but it usually, is based on usually it. Usually with memory games, it's just two cards, two you know, a pair. Now you've got triplets. So It was that's... that. So I upped it. So like with comics and with anything else, with games, like there's very little new stuff. So what I did is I took the existing thing and I, I altered it and made my own thing out of it. And then by having those three different things, it's super hard. If you don't know comics, you're not going to be able to do very many sets. But, yeah. but and it so it's fun. a knowledge based thing on that. So yeah. I, I'm calling it a trivia game because of that. And because I do that, I'm able to use other images. So if you're doing a quiz show and yeah. you pull up a picture of Superman and go, who's this dude? Like that's, that's fair game. That's learning. That's knowledge. And so I'm, I'm going down that avenue. Um, but that one yeah. came out quite nice. I need to polish it up. I did that in 48 hours. Hmm. It was a lot of uh, cropping and cutting pictures. What's, it, what's <laughs> that other game where you could basically move pictures, um, things around? Have you done one of those before? Like a puzzle. I yeah. mean, you could. How you like, do that about, is you right? have all the bits and little squares broken down, and they'd all be numbered neatly. And then on the screen, you'd have a format where it has the same numbers. And so if piece one is down on the bottom corner and you move up to the top, it locks in. So the program is really interesting because you have to read it, learn everything real different. And no, uh, I mean, was it, that's the, there's the other one where you got like um, one empty space, right? Or oh, where you're sliding around? Yeah, the slide thing. Yeah, well, that's the same thing though, because at the end, your your is thing is to get. Make? Do you think? Uh, Could you do people. one for me in three weeks? To, to be honest, it might be a little boring, <laughs> but there's not well, much to I mean, it because you're just uh, you're touching it and the bit goes and moves. But you have to make it understand where the pieces need to be at the end. Is the only challenging bit of it, really. Well, um, but, I mean, it's but, challenging but, in general. I send you an image of um of an incredible girl, and you can make you know make one of those up. It'd us. be easier to put it in my jumble thing, <laughs> and it, <Yeah. laughs> but I just need lots of different character pictures. Yeah, I think we're not at that stage where all the oh, all that characters have been exposed yet to the um you know in comic form. Um, yeah, but that's yeah, the thing I can, about I can have a think more. about it. I mean, I don't a hundred. It's cool to try and do these things though. So, like you said, with experimenting and learning, like I wouldn't mind trying to figure out how to make a slider puzzle. I just. Yeah. I can't picture it in my head exactly, <laughs> but it's def think, definitely doable. Anything with programming, interestingly, is doable. So it's yeah. just it might just be really hard or take a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool thing about gaming, though. I mean, like you look at where we've come from sprites to where we are now with CGI, three D imagery, mm -hmm. to you know dots on people to create a film. You know, what's this? soon it's going to get boring when seeing so everything being CGI. I but don't I mean, like everything looking super realistic. It bothers me. Yeah. It doesn't need to be that, especially for creative stuff. Yeah. I um think oh. we've actually gone way over the hour. <laughs> we have. Yeah. Well, let me let me finish with Incredible here. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking about the kids' comics and what the reason for that and now why it's got going to work there. Like I said. 
it wasn't my idea. I just built on somebody's, somebody else built on somebody else's idea. And I just orchestrated what we're doing. And then, you know, hopefully we get funding we need for it. Um, and I'm working on that right now. Is it on Kickstarter? No. No, the kids' comics? No, the yeah. um, Incredible, isn't it? It'll be up there at the end of the month. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, a, it's a month late. The reason it's a month late is because I'm doing all this other stuff, right? And this is why I'm like slowly wanting to move up, step back slightly from Plunge so I can actually concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing, which is running a comic book company. But instead, I'm, you know, I'm trying to help my community, you know, build build a bigger audience and build a better receptive community to kids, arts, and their development in the artistic form. Form. So, like, I mean, like, one of the things I said, like, the reason I want to do this, you know, why I, you know, because every time you want to, you do something, somebody will ask you why you want to do it, and then you have to mm -hmm. think like. It's like when when you do something with a, you know create something a paint a picture and then they say, why did you do it that way? I'm like, I'm not the person that ex likes to explain that shit, and it's been the problem right. with me ever since art school. I, th I think I most artists wouldn't though, would they? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. So I'm the artist, and I don't like to explain my artwork. I just want people to enjoy. Either, you, either you get it or you don't, to, or you yeah, enjoy it. Thing, yeah. The only thing I want people to do with my artwork is be able to touch it, right? Be and able to put their it. fingers on it, and that's all that matters to me. And but and if they like it, that's all. But like when you're at art school, they tell you how to explain it because you know the gallery's got to try to sell it. What's a motive? Well, you can't even it. guarantee that people will like it though. Like with art, it's subjective. Yeah. Like you have right. to accept that just as many people won't like it, if not more. That is true. Now, so the reason I'm saying that, so with the kids' comics, so I had to explain. Yeah, you know, I have to come up with a reason why we're doing what we're doing, and basically it is it's like saying, well. I'm looking at a 10-year period, and I'm looking at kids who like to draw, who like to doodle, who like to tell stories, who like manga, anime, comics, uh, animation, cartoons, right? Uh, and so 10 years from when they actually have figured out everything they want to do about a story or where they want to go in life or be a game developer, Here's a stepping stone to being able to tell it. Yeah, you want to you want to be that little bit of the history, that little yeah. touch. I want to help them get to the, where the one they can get to ten years from now. Or eight are you going to publish all the kids' stuff? So if, if they like oh, yeah. whatever kids put, hand them into you, you're putting them in your. Well, thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna it has to be completed, right? Um, um and and the other thing was like I was gonna ask um, Shane if you can touch some up. Just so that if it's penciled, if it but doesn't generally, show generally, as a rule, you're just going to respect the fact they're kids and they're yeah. creating. Yeah. That's cool. Why don't you um you obviously they're gonna have a digital copy at the work. end. Pardon? You have you have a digital copy at the end, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna Why don't a, you no, get no, them to when they do their sub they're gonna have a completely um what you call it? um yeah, they're gonna have the printed copy black and white with a colored cover back and front. Uh, what were you saying after that? Why don't Digital you, um, when they do their submission, like um, ask them, because you're doing digital, you have it digital, ask them for an email address of someone they want to gift it to when you, you do it. Oh, right, yeah. And right. then that would be a cool way of spreading the word. You could chuck some plunge advertising in the back and yeah. put it out there. And yeah. they could, you know, dad or uncle could get their thing yeah. with their ass in it, and that would be well, pretty cool. No, the other thing was they actually they're able to buy extra copies. Their parents, but are not, able to but, but not buying. But like kids, you, you gift a digital, you gift a digital to to someone. Yeah, yeah. Well, if they want, but like the thing is that they get physical copies of their work. Well, that's cool. So they get a free yeah. issue. Yeah, they get a free digital. I'm uh, not digital. I keep saying physical. they get a physical copy of their work. So all the cop, um, all the artwork will be collected physically. And put is that together. what you're funding? Yeah, that's what we're getting the trying to look for funding for. That's cool. Yeah, and so that's, that's, that's nice. About, yeah, yeah, it's around about a couple, um, about three hundred dollars or something by the end of it all, or five hundred. I don't know what it is. Uh, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't looked at them uh, quite recently. But basically, you know. It's A4 size, so um, A3, 5 size, sorry. So it's about yay big. Yeah, something like that. No, folded actually. Folded A4. Um, yeah, folded A4. So it's about, isn't yeah. it about that. Yeah. So it's, yeah, so it's, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, but yeah, well, I think most people know with the A4 folded in half what that looks like. Yeah. So would, would it have the card cover? Yeah. 
I'm going to try to get a nice little, you know, solid little cover on there. Nice. Hopefully everything works out to what we want. And yeah, and then we're just going to, it's, I think we cost it about cost plus 20 or 30% uh, because it's going to, so it's really cheap when they get it. Um, I'm not quality cheap, but they get, you know, at a cheap price, extra copies on top of, you know, so if they want it. Between three and $500 to produce. Something like approximately. that. Approximately. Yeah. Depending on how we, how we get it. If it gets photo printed, it's a different way. If it gets printed, it's a different cost. So at the end of the day, I mean, like, I, I want to develop these kids' uh, creativity and hopefully, you know. What's well, just an be, opportunity to well, showcase you know interest, doing isn't this. it? Pardon? It's just an opportunity to kind of showcase your interest and be part of the community. Yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily going to change their future, but one day it's when an they, experience. Yeah, and one day when they get on Patreon and they want a Patreon patronage, they'll find they'll have all these things to show what they were able to do back then, you know, back now. <laughs> so I think, yeah, it's it's cool. that whole cycle of life. They say, you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to um, be willing to invest in the kids because what's the point of just investing on into you know. Uh, yeah, you got you got to really invest in, in what the in the development. I mean, I'm I'm watching my nephew do that right now. You know, we've gone from like uh, him drawing pencil to being able to uh, to draw digitally now, right? And very quick on a tablet. And um, I I so, am for the kids, but like yeah. in a sense, you know, when you talk about the Patreons and you've got these young people trying to cut time out and make something, or make a produce an animation, or do this and yeah. that. There's not very much support for adults, really, generally, and no. like quite often they're more crushed than kids. Like when they've grown up true. to be an artist and they haven't, yeah. and they, you know, it's cool to help kids. But I mean, I think in general oh, the yeah. art scene needs to be. Well, I'm there, right? I'm there. I'm the adult who's trying to get all the stuff. Exactly, done. and it's it's still not easy in your space, you know, like. Right. And but that's where that's where you know uh, I think the value of. Uh, you I just want the kids to have a better go of it. Well, I, well, yes and no, because you know they're developing what they're doing. But the other thing is that you know we're we're here for the adults, right? When it comes to us publishing our own comic books, we know we're here for the people who are actually at that stage of actually putting that stuff out and have done the work. They're not they've done their hard comic book creation work, and we're going to look towards putting that out through us through you know. What we, do, what we do with Plunge Studios and Oceania. But for the kids' side of things, that's the kids' side of things. Building them to take over one day from us, right? And being able to carry on this, this you know, this part of literature that means more, that is, has more a financial involvement in it than any other form of literature, if people really think about it. Comics has more money involved than just books, you know, right? These things don't have that much money involved until they get into movies, right? Uh, and so you could sell a million copies of that, but it still doesn't measure up to a merchandising value value to it. I mean, of course, you could. When um, Clive was very smart, you know, with the toys and stuff, which one people he signed up with, with well, not that one, but with Hell Hellraiser, as we you know, we talk about pinheads. I think they were going to put up a new pinhead sculpture out soon, um, figurine. They were talking about like pop pop vinyls are going to have um, a horror element series coming out soon. They've done uh, Ash from Evil Dead. Um, I just I'm just you know collecting a set of sci-fi my favorite sci-fi movie of all time, Blade Runner. Didn't even know, accidentally found out that it is a pop vinyls, right? Finished off my X-Men series of pop vinyls. So I'm done with pop vinyls and when it comes to comic books. I've just moved off from that. So, you know, and now I want my pop vinyls of, you know, of Incredible. Hopefully she'll look like this when we do the pop vinyl with her boots properly, which is missing down here. You only got the top of that. So, you know, that's the image that I've sent through to get and I, you know, at the end of the day, someday these kids will have their own pop vinyls of their own characters, right? And some, and and there is also yourself there, who, you know, with the Dutch Hounds, uh, might one day have decided to do oh, that as well. I because you already, you already have, 
I mean, you've done 3D animation, haven't you? No, I studied 2D. Okay. So, you know, so then so the, there, there is that element there where you could actually create cut, uh, little three-minute short animations or th uh, three-minute, yeah, animations that are incredible, you know, in a, in a battle that we could I use to promote our comic book or our toy. You know, and this is what I'm talking about. So, like, this is all this widening of our creativity in Whangarei that people aren't aware of. I think I so, probably could make a like a game, like a little thing for for, for plunge. Like yeah. you asked, like you have to send me some images or let me know what I can use, and I like yeah, I, I can mean, easily I'll, make something. Yeah, I'll send you an image of um, well, of the. Cover. I mean, can, can I can I just use some of your images? Is it, I'll send you the actual cover of um, that Shane's done, of the first of, of the thing of uh, issue one, because that way it will all tie in, and then you could cut that cover up into that little slidey thing. Are you? Is that the one you're thinking about? I'll try. Yeah, uh, I can try. Cool. All right. No, no, uh, no harm in trying. Never, never any harm in trying. It's when you don't. The, I I think the sliding oh. thing's probably harder, but I could do like a puzzle or something maybe. Um, sure. but, so you just want was, an image? Well, I was thinking I was wanting to more because that jumble three, that jumble one I made mm. is like it, basically it's an engine that can be reutilized in different ways. So yeah. in a way, I, I like the presentation of that. That one's quite vibrant and got a lot to it. I mean, we could use the plunge logo. We could use different stuff. I could take it back to a kind of match two thing. And just make it personalized for you, oh, which yeah. would match, be. If you do match twos, you could probably. Yeah, and um, then just yeah, have I'll some different characters on there. Yeah. And you can work yeah. out from that. And then the trick with those is like nice, colorful things. So, so variety yeah. of colors is really the trick. I mean, I could add some little Easter eggs. I could put your face on it. You can match Don't up some Aries. Don't do that. That'd be funny. I, I have enough. Uh, I had to like um, not put my face on the this. Um, Proposal thing I'm putting together. It's like well, let, no faces on that. Let's do that because that, that's doable and it okay. would be personalized for you. And so if you just give me some cool like pictures I can just snip and take bits out of and your mm. um, logos and things, I can chuck them all in there. You should put your face in there. Like, don't you want to be like the, the face of Plunge? No. No? I'm the oh. voice of Plunge. I'll chuck I'm my face the, in it. I'm the voice of Plunge, not the face. <laughs> Somebody else will be the face of it someday. But I'll be the voice of it for now. Um, all right, so let's tie this down. Um, it's ten o'clock. It's two minutes from ten o'clock, man. Hour and well, a half. Well, um, I I should put it out there like I'm easy to get hold of, and so any of Ari's community who's like mm. likes dabbling in game development or wants to try and yeah. learn more or feels like they could help me on any cool. of my projects, I'm more than happy to work with you. That um, little matchy thing, at these a few polishing things and different creative ideas and it can go many different ways um, but even just different themes so i mean if you want to team up with me and like make a different theme and make a different thing and put it out there totally up for it all right so thank you everybody who's watching and everybody who'll be watching this later um 